In this lecture, I'm going to uh, start explaining what is the voltage divider. So basically, the voltage divider is two resistors. Okay, these two resistors dividing the voltage into two. Let's see. This is a simple circuit that is used to lower the value of the voltage. The voltage will be divided by two resistors because the two resistors are connected in series. So V out is the voltage of the second resistor. And we can calculate the V out using this equation. So basically that means that we have two resistors and these two resistors are connected together in series. So in series, when the resistors are connected together in series, the voltage is getting divided by the two resistors. If we want to take the V out, for example, or the, if we want to place a voltage, for example, 10 volts, and we want it 5 volts, we want to drop this to drop the value of the voltage in, in to the half or any value that we need okay so we have a v in voltage in and v out voltage out so v in for example it's gonna be 10 ohm uh, 10 voltage uh, 10 volts and the v out is going to be for example 5 volts so we have two resistors these two resistors are going to uh, lower our uh, lower the value of the voltage so the V out is the voltage on, uh, on the R2, on that second resistor. So to calculate the voltage of the V out, it's going to be V out equals to V in times R2 divided by R1 plus R2. So the V out, the voltage out, is going to be the voltage that is exists over the second resistor. the voltage when the load is connected so that means that we are going to calculate the voltage the output voltage when we connect a load so that means that the behavior of the circuit under a load which means that if we have the same circuit r1 and r2 but we are going to connect to the v out uh, rl resistance of a load so that means that we are going to connect the second resistor r2 uh, to RL in parallel so that means that the voltage was, is going to be uh, is uh, uh, will be changed why is that because the value of R2 and RL because they together are connected in parallel so that means that we are going to calculate the equivalent resistance of these two together and then we are going to calculate the voltage that exists over these two resistance which means that the equation that we need to use to calculate the V out will equals to not the first part it will going to be the second part it will be V1 times R2 parallel to RL divided by R1 plus R2 parallel to RL so that means that that means that we will replace the R2 with the total equivalent or so, sorry with the total aka equivalent resistance of R2 and RL using this equation R2 times RL divided by R2 plus RL this equation is to calculate the total resistance or the equivalent resistance of R2 and RL because they are connected together in parallel so that means that we are going to calculate the total resistance or the equivalent resistance of R2 and RL together, together using this equation and then we are going to have the R total or the R equivalent of these two resistance resistances and then we are going to start dividing the uh, the voltage which means that to calculate the V out we are going to use this uh, equation and we are going to replace the R2 parallel to RL use in, uh, by this equation which means that R2 parallel to RL this uh, symbol or these two uh, the R2 parallel to RL means that this is the equivalent resistance of R2 and RL the same idea in the uh, in this part so that means that we are going to replace R2 parallel to RL uh, and R2 right here R2 uh, parallel to RL 
to the equivalent resistance that we are going to calculate from this equation. So that's it in this lecture. I hope to see you in the next lecture. Thanks for watching.